Hey guys, it's your girl Kermis. Welcome back to my channel. No. Sorry if the setup is a little weird, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to do, you know, a different setup for you guys today. So <laughs> I'm currently sitting on the floor. So today we are doing a Chipotle mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang, whatever you want to call it. So fun fact, I got this actually yesterday and I'm eating it today. So the only thing I did to it was I added cheese to my bowl and I added... I had cheese and my own lettuce to it. So that's a tip if you are trying to, you know, save your chipotle for the next day. And you don't want it to be all bad or whatever. Um, so I got fresh lettuce and I got fresh cheese. So here go my bowl. Looks mad good, right? So I got some brown rice. I got some chicken. I got some brown rice. I got some chicken. I got some hot sauce. I have the lettuce, cheese, corn. So that's everything that I got in my bowl, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, let me mix this up real quick. And then we're going to do a thumbnail. And then we're going to get right into it. Okay, so let me get the bite. Sorry y'all, I'm gonna have to be eating for a little bit before I start talking. Cause your girl been craving Chipotle for a minute now. So I guess if you hear the background music, the background noise, but my grandma's talking on the phone right now and I cannot, you know, I still have to film this video anyway, so sorry if you guys hear some background noises, but anyways, so today is um, February 22nd, yep, February 22nd, and my birthday is literally coming up. My birthday is March 12th. My birthday is March 12th, and I have so much planned for my birthday this year, which is crazy because usually for my birthday, I'll probably go out to eat or something, or I'll probably go to the movies. Last year, around my birthday, I was in school in Albany, so um, I wasn't even expecting to do anything for my birthday, but my friend at the time, she, she really had it, she really like, you know, made that shit live for me. And a lot changed on my birthday last year. Like, I was talking to some nigga around that time. Wasn't really talking, talking, but he was just, like, my smoking buddy, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, I met him around that time on my birthday. Like, a lot of things happened on my birthday last year. And this year, <laughs> this year, since you guys know, I got kicked out of school. So, since I got kicked out of school, I'm back home this year for my birthday. And I wanted to go all out because, yeah, I got this, um, this pillow, back, this back pillow right here for me. But I wanted to go all out this year. I'm turning 22, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't go all out for my 21st birthday, but this time around, since I'm home, I'm, I'm around my family, my friend Amanda, my cousins, my sisters, like... I want to go big or go home this year, so your girl is doing just that, you know what I'm saying? So, I decided that I wanted to, you know, rent a party bus and go to the sugar factory and then go to the club afterwards. So, y'all already know it's going to be lit, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's about to be lit. Um, I didn't know it was so hard 
to get a party bus. Like, it's not hard to get a party bus, but it's hard to get a party bus that you actually like. And I'm having about 10 people going to the sugar factory with me for my, for my birthday, to celebrate my birthday. And the places that I've seen, mm, the places that I've seen online, like first of all the party buses don't look that good second thing is um sorry second thing is the um second thing is is that the actual location like the actual location where the party bus is located is not near me in my town like you can't like physically go to the party bus location and just check out the party buses at least not in my area <clears throat> So we went to New Jersey, excuse me, we went to New Jersey and, and, um, we went to go look for one and I went to like, I went to go look at the party buses in Jersey at one location and literally they had all these different buses on the website. But then when I go there, you only have two buses out. You only got two little party buses out and a stretch limo. I'm like, bro, you had all this on your website. Where's the party buses at? So that was a little disappointment, but oh, shout out my back hurt. I don't think I'm gonna video like this again. <laughs> but um, literally, they didn't have like literally. It was nice going there to see inside the party bus. Like I felt like okay, this a vibe, you know what I'm saying? But the party buses that they had was only for 25 people each, and I'm like, bro, I only have 10 people. I'm not about to buy this big ass party bus spending all that money. That my mom's gonna be, you know, she's helping for the limo, so she's like, she's um, my mom like made a deal, like, yo, I will pay for the limo because I just want, because I feel like it's not right to like have your friends and everybody pay for their for their spot on the limo if they're coming to celebrate your birthday, like it's for you, so it's like they have to come in the limo, so it's like they shouldn't have to pay for their spot in the limo, but you know, you you can see it both ways, but my mom is like so caring and so nice that she's willing to pay for for whatever you know what i'm saying and i try to find like the most affordable party buses that there is and all that so it's like i'm about to buy i'm about to let her get a thousand dollar party bus for 25 people if i only have 10 people coming you know what i'm saying and sure factory only allows 10 people per table and so like i had 25 people to invite anyway to the party bus so it was so nice going inside just to see like I've never been like in a party bus before. So it was so nice to like go through that experience with my mom and my sister. And we were still satisfied even though we left, you know, like we still left without, you know, knowing what party bus I'm gonna get because it's a twenty it's a twenty second and my birthday is right around the corner and I still gotta look for a party bus and all that, so and that's just one thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the main thing that I need because that's the look that's our transportation, you know what I'm saying? It's either a party bus or a stretch limo. And the reason why I wanted a party bus is because it's because I want to I wanted to like, you know, have that spacious vibe. I want to stand, I wanted to take cute pictures. Not that you cannot take cute pictures in a limo, but it's like I feel like a, a party bus is just better. Or even a stretch limo, but I don't know. <clears throat> but I don't know because I don't like being hunched over all the time. Like that's why that's what you get with a limo. You're like it's literally low. You're hunched over. You have to hunch over to get something. It's like I don't want that. If we want to go and get a drink, like literally, you can stand up, <clears throat> walk over, and get a drink. And if you want to dance, you want to do all that, you could do that. Like even though even though when I did want to go see the party bus, they had like a side note talking about no standing none of that while the bus is in motion which i did not know that because i literally thought a party bus was like they have like the poles up and you can dance and you can do whatever but this one didn't so if i could find a party bus with a pole i'll definitely get that simply because then we will be able to stand so I'm, I'm sure that the pole is there for you to be able to like hold on to it while the bus is driving, while the bus is in motion, and you can also dance on it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, 
That's why I really wanted a party bus for my birthday and it's stupid lit like that. Like, you know, we finally been getting lit. And of course the girl's vlogging, you know what I'm saying? Of course the girl's gonna film what the fuck going on. Like, I'm, gonna be, I'm probably gonna be so far gone that I don't know if I'm even gonna remember to pull out my camera or if I'm gonna be able to record, but I probably will. Cause Drunk Hermes, Drunk Hermes has recorded before. Mm-hmm. So, that's just one thing. The second thing is my outfit, my hair. I already know what I want to do with my hair, so. I'm going to be getting a blonde wig, and that's that. Like, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna get a blonde wig from Ellie Grace. I got one good blonde wigs before, and it's bomb as fuck. It was the one that I watercolored blue, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna go again and get... A blonde wig from Allie Grace, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned for that install. Like, your girl about to have some blonde hair, you know what I'm saying? A bob, of course. So, your girl about to be looking cute for her birthday, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, I'm probably going to like, like change, not change the color, but I'm gonna dye down. Like, I'm gonna tone that yellow brassy color, and it's gonna be a little whitish blonde. So, it's gonna look really nice. And I'm thinking about doing either a red dress or. A silver dress or a white dress. Um, I've been on Fashion Nova and stuff looking for dresses. I have this one dress in mind. This red one. I'll pop it right here. But yeah, but of course on my birthday, you guys will see the final touches, the final look. I'm going to be filming a chit chat get ready with me drunk edition. You know what I'm saying? My friend Amanda might pop in the video too and join me. So stay tuned for that. It's really about to be lit in March, okay? Because then it's my cousin's birthday the 15th. And then it's my sister's birthday the 28th. And my sister's having a whole party here, so I'm like, y'all, it's really about to be lit in March. You know what I'm saying? And this month has been going by so fast. It's, re it's like ridiculous because. It was just February 1st, now it's the 22nd, and it's like, time is really ticking, and I'm like trying to like, get everything together, in time. Um, so yeah, so the plan is to go to Sugar Factory, I made reservations for Sugar Factory around for 8 30 um on my birthday not on my birthday not on my actual birthday but the day after my birthday because my birthday march 12th marking your calendar is my birthday is on a thursday so i was like nah like we ain't gonna do all this on a thursday we doing this on a friday the next day so hopefully nothing bad happens because it's friday the 13th you know what i'm saying it's friday the 13th so mm. I want everything to happen that day, the next day for my birthday. On my actual birthday, I'm gonna be getting my nails done. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna on the wood the day before my birthday, March 11th. And then on my birthday, I'm getting my nails done. Then, excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> the hotness went through my throat, bro. But anyways, um... On my actual birthday, I'm going to be getting my nails done early in the morning. Then after that, I'm going to beat my face. And I want my friends to take pictures of me and stuff. Get some birthday flicks, you know what I'm saying, on my birthday. Then we're going to buy the bottles, you know what I'm saying? We're going to buy the bottles and all that for the next day. And we're probably going to make some drinks too. Like, we're going to make some, um, like, alcohol-infused gummy bears, um... Um, jello shots, all that. Just so it's like we can get lit before we go to Sugar Factory. And then, Sugar Factory, I don't know about them drinks, son. Literally, I want to get one of those cool drinks from Sugar Factory that have um all the candy in it. It's like this big ass drink with all the candy in it, smoke. Um, alcohol is in it. Um, literally that drink is forty dollars. Like, are you kidding me? Or are you kidding me? Like, I paid forty dollars for that. Unless I split with somebody, like 
that's the only way I'm getting that drink. So it's like I want to really get lit before I step foot in there. Which is good because we're going to be eating so we won't have like a bad hangover the next day. And then after that, oh, after that, we're going to a club, you know what I'm saying? They made me a flyer and everything. I do not know if I'm going to post it yet, but I might post it uh, on my social media. So make sure you uh, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, um, Twitter. Like, I'm literally going to post it March 1st, my flyer. Because they made me a flyer for the club, whatever. I RSVP and everything for this club. And I'm so, it's so lit. Like, they literally have this Afro beat, this Afro beat, um versus caribbean music no afro b caribbean versus hip-hop and r&b literally march 13th and i'm like bro it's mad lit like so they made me a flyer and all that they got my name down i'm, like, I'm gonna get dj shout outs and all that and you can have bottle service but i ain't doing all that because here you know we're gonna have our own stuff and we're probably gonna be so lit like after that so but they also have an open bar like an open bar sis an open bar so, yeah, it's about to be lit. And, yeah, I'm going to record all that. And if I don't, y'all will definitely see snaps, so. Mm-hmm. That's the plan, y'all. It's like the only part that I got done with is I made my reservations at Sugar Factory. That's done with. Um, I RCP at the club. That's all done with. So I think, like I have my like I said this for the third time, but yeah, they made my own flyer. My my pictures on the flyer. It says um birthday celebration for Carmes, like literally all that. So that's all done with. The only thing now is really my outfit, cause I know what hair I'm wearing. It's my outfit, um, in the party bus. That's about it. So the party bus is the main thing because that's like our transportation. So. Mm. That's our transportation. have this hair in my head probably for two weeks now <clears throat> for two weeks now so that means my birthday is almost in two weeks or three weeks because I'm keeping this in for a month until my birthday so it's gotta last till till March 11th because that's when I'm doing my hair mm. I have this wig right here I have this wig right here. Um, I was thinking about doing a video for you guys, like a transformation video, where I transform that curly wig into a straight, like a straight little bob type look, and then add some bangs to it. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that video. Um, I'm thinking about doing that for my sister's birthday. I might keep the long wig in though. Because really my sister's birthday is March 28th. And that's probably like two weeks after my birthday. So I'm still going to have that wig on. So. Yeah. I'm also not keeping it blonde. I will wear it blonde for my birthday. But at first I wanted to dye that wig a cherry, like a wild cherry red. And wear that with like a white dress for my birthday. But I'm thinking white, a white color, like a whitish blonde. That Like that's like so classy, so elegant, and so bomb as fuck. Like blondes have more fun, like literally. So I'm thinking about, yeah, that's why I'm going to like wear a blonde instead. And I won't have to do too much to the wig. 
and I wouldn't have to like mess it up or anything because doing like playing with the red like the, like red like uh-uh like I don't want my hair to be bleeding a lot I don't want my hair to be you know acting up for my birthday so I might just leave it blonde um and yeah I'll keep it as wrong color which will make it look way more classy and then I'll probably change it to red for my sister's birthday and then mm. yeah I probably wear that wig I'm dead I'm sorry there's so many options now back to slow from that video for y'all y'all just won't get the install video for a minute If y'all didn't know, Chipotle is really like one of my favorite food ever. Chipotle, uh, specifically their, their burritos, their bowl, the salads, the quesadilla. I really got all of it before. I got on the tacos one time before. It was so good to the point where it was so good to the point where I made my mom. I'm like, mom, like, can we, like, can we please? I was like, mommy, can we please, like, can we please, like, make the like the Chipotle salads and all that? Like, I went, like, I went on their website and I look at all the ingredients and I literally told her, get this, get that, get this, get that, and she and we tried making it, but it honestly did not taste the same at all. I think it's the chicken. The chicken that they use is different. Nah, no, I damn near ate the whole thing. And it'd be like, that's so much money just for a freaking salad or just chicken and rice and I literally just got chicken rice and hot salsa all that and corn all that for eight dollars it's like when you could just make that shit at home type shit you know what I'm saying like it's so much better so much cheaper to just do it at home but like, I can't never get close to this this taste of, like that the taste that I'm tasting I can't get close to it All done. I just recently started adding corn to my bowl and it tastes so good. Mm. <sighs> some water, some H2O, get you some. <laughs> Literally, when I eat a meal like that, I can literally just keep drinking and drinking and drinking, like, bro. <clears throat> but anyways, you guys, I finished all of my food. As you guys can see, I was pretty hungry. I wasn't even, like, starving like that. And I still maxed that whole plate. But, like, Chipotle never disappoints me, but... <clears throat> Anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Stay tuned for the festivities that's about to happen, you know what I'm saying? Like my birthday, my sister's birthday. So stay tuned for all that. Um, it's a lot. It's about to be a lot in March. So I'm so excited to take you guys with me on this journey. Like, it's about to be lit, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys turn your post notifications so you're notified know every single time your girl upload her videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.